Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name's Katie Satilli and today I'm going to be decluttering and cleaning my kid's room. So we all know that after Christmas, things get really crazy with our kids' toys and even clothes. If you're new here, my name is Katie Satilli. I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday, so don't forget to hit the red subscribe button before leaving and give this video a thumbs up. Also, hit the little bell for the notifications so that you can be reminded anytime I upload new videos. Also, I wanted to mention that today's video is a collab with one of my favorite people here on YouTube, Lindsay from Lindsay's Life and Style. If you're not following her, make sure you go check her out. I'll have her video and her channel linked in my description box. She posts tons of cleaning motivation videos. She's super down to earth one of the sweetest people I've met here on YouTube. So don't forget to go check her out after you watch this video. So this is what we're working with here. Um, we have a small condo. I have three kids in one bedroom. Um, so we use bunk beds, which this is like just a tornado. I think first I'm gonna have to kind of clean up real quick. Um, I usually put their books in here, but the kids, when they cleaned their room put them in this bag so i need to move things back into this closet i want to go through their clothes get rid of stuff that they don't wear and then this is actually a really good system that i have in place and i brought some more bins like this i just use everything from the dollar tree and i can't find my chalkboard labels i need to go look for those maybe they're in the garage i'm not sure but then i just have um things in each of these and so i did that in a different video which i'll link below but i have to stay really organized or else my kids room just goes crazy because there's three of them in here these are the bins that i get from the dollar tree and i like them because i can organize things and keep little parts together also if you're curious each of my kids has one drawer so that's my one and a half year olds this is my six year olds drawer and this is my four-year-old's drawer and i do konmari in our house so you'll notice like everything's like in a filing system you can see what we have and things don't get like really overwhelming so i've got a lot of work to do today my babysitter's downstairs for the next three hours let's do this
right, this is when things start coming together, but also get really overwhelming because I have all this stuff. So I'm starting to throw stuff out in those trash bags, one's for Goodwill, one's for trash. I also have another spot in my bathroom that I never show and I never use. I have these two cupboards, so I might end up decluttering in there. So I might end up decluttering in there and I need to go turn the heater off because I am like sweating. <laughs>
so I wanted to come in here and show you this closet because it's really hard for me to film in here because here's the door, here's the closet, here's my ring light. <laughs> um, so I just cleared out this bin and I think I'm going to put all those blankets that Fiona always has on her bed in there. So I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so here's everything I'm gonna get rid of from this closet and then I just put Fiona's blankets right here and I put the kids train set right there because it's one of those things we don't play with very often but I still kind of want to keep it and then up here I only have one blanket so I'm wondering if I could pull that blanket down and put other toys up there that they don't play with that much I don't know we'll see I just found a new spot that I need to clean out. Let's check it out. This is like, are you serious? Like we don't use this bathroom almost ever. Okay, that one's cleared out. But then down here are all of our puzzles from who knows when. And we don't even do these very often, probably because they're shoved down here and we don't even know what we have. So I think I'm gonna do like some serious decluttering and organize this space down here because this is valuable space that I could be using.
Okay, I think I'm done for the day. I have six bags of stuff that I'm getting, six trash bags. Okay, so I'm kind of sweaty. Little glistening, little sparkle. So I wanted to show you the finished product and I need to get rid of these bags, obviously, but um, everything looks so much better. I'm really excited. And there's like actual space in case we get more toys which we have some of our Christmas toys downstairs, so I'll probably do like a part two of this video, but I don't have enough time today. So I'll show you how everything turned out right now. Okay, so when you first come in the room, these two beds were a disaster. Um, there's two bags for trash and then four bags to donate. Um, under the bed, we have Barbie stuff. Um, that obviously doesn't go there, but, um, and then in here, I just have a few of the kids' toys that I don't want to get rid of. I put all the books on this, like, shoe hanger. I got rid of a ton of clothes, um, so there's just more space. And then up here, I got rid of two of the bins, the clear bins of toys, and I were donating that. This is, like, Polly Pocket stuff, which I'm so tempted to just throw out or goodwill it but I don't know and then that bin is for Fiona's jewelry this bin has animals cars little people um superheroes purses oh let me open this this is extra bins that we haven't used yet but I'm just using so that's like all this space is not even needed I put um some puzzles right here more books right here. These are the kids' dress-up clothes. I like to just have them all down here so they can get to them easily. Oh, these are like backpacks and stuff right here. And then I got rid of a bunch of like the little decor stuff that I had here. I moved some stuff around and I need to like decorate this space. But so if you guys have any ideas, leave it down in the comments. Um, and I didn't go through the drawers. I didn't go through the stuffed animals, which I should, but oh well. And then down here, we have all this space. We got rid of a ton of stuff and I just kept a few puzzles and games. But as you can see, like I have a ton of space in case I need to put more stuff. I got rid of everything in this drawer. Almost everything in this drawer. This is the decor that I was talking about that I took down. This is like another little organizer and then this is Fiona's bath bomb. And then up here, you can see I have everything nicely, well, that's not really nice, but it's put away. So I think I showed you guys this already, but those are Fiona's dolls. She rarely plays with them. And then there's all of her blankets and then the trains. And then here's sheets and towels. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions with how I fit my three kids in one room, leave them in the comments below and I can answer them as best as I can. I know I asked this over on my Instagram today, so I'll be answering some questions over there as well. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. It's just katie.satilli and I'd love to see you in my future videos and over on my Instagram, I'm on my Insta stories every day like vlog status and don't forget to go check out Lindsay's video she is cleaning and decluttering today too so you will not want to miss that go ahead and check her out it's in the description box below and I hope you guys have an awesome day I'll see you in another video bye guys